stop using the ringer like this because it's wrong. It might sound weird, but in this video, I'm gonna show you the professional way to use a ring light. And I know what you're thinking. Now, it's manufactured your own manufacturer like that, so how can you tell me that this is wrong? And let me tell you that this is because of convenience. It's just easier to just plug the phone in the middle so the beginners, they don't have to do some weird stuff. And that's why everyone is used to do so. And you know, it's not that you cannot use it like this. I'm just saying that there is a better way to use it to make your video or photos more cinematic and in this video I'm going to show you how you can just use a 10 inch ring light this is a Nanlite Halo 10B so we're going to take a self portrait together and I'm going to show you how you can make banger portraits just using this one whether you're using a phone or whether you're using a camera the results are going to be absolutely outstanding and I can promise that so make sure to stick until the end of the video to see that now what is the problem actually of having a ring light and a phone in the middle so the problem is that whenever you're using a ring light like this with the phone in the middle then the direction of the light will be exactly at the same level as the phone. That means that if you're shooting with the phone right in the middle like so, and then you're looking at the light, you're looking at the phone, then you're gonna have an extremely flat face. That means that usually whenever you see some cinematic or some good photos, the light never comes from actually the front of yourself because you're not gonna have any shadow in this area, maybe under the eye, under the nose, in this area, where usually if you look at any professional photos, you always see some sort of shadows because this adds a little bit of contrast in the photo and is much more professional look. So the key part in this process is actually detaching the light and the phone. And to do this, we're just gonna need to use a different tripod to have the phone in a separate position rather than the ring light. So we're just gonna move out the phone from here and we're gonna use any other sort of tripod with a phone holder that you can choose. Now, don't worry because these things are extremely cheap. You can find it on Amazon or you can get some professional ones. It doesn't really matter. It's all about whether you want to improve your photography. This is not necessary, but you're gonna see the big difference that we can achieve with this movement. So now let's say you have the phone on a tripod and then you have in another tripod the ring light. And if you've ever seen any video on my channel where I talk about professional photography, light positioning, lighting, and all sorts of stuff or any other video on YouTube and also how YouTubers actually YouTubers make their own YouTube studio then you might have noticed that the light is never flat directly on your face at the eye line but it's always higher 45 degrees towards your island and as you can see right now it's also the same position and you can notice from this light that I have shadows here I have a little shadows here maybe this part is a little bit darker than this one because again it's not flat directly on my face but it's a little bit let's say 45 degrees on the side and we're gonna do the exact same thing just using this uh, ring light so instead of having flat we're gonna have it slightly higher and tilt down towards ourselves 45 degrees on us and depending on how you move the ring light from left to right so more on the side or more in front of yourself then you're gonna have more contrast or less contrast that means a little bit more dramatic if you have it on the side or a little bit less dramatic and more even if you have it let's say on top of your face now it is okay to actually have it higher than your island in front of yourself but it has to be higher so you don't want to have it extremely flat on your face because even if it's higher you're gonna have maybe even let's say lighting on your face but then you're still gonna have the shadow under your chin and that's what you want to have to achieve a professional result so let's say even if I move my key light right now I'm gonna show you that the more I go on the side the more contrast is gonna have one side of the face or the other. Right now, because it's here, it's literally on the side, this is my key light in the YouTube studio, then this side is very, very bright and this side is very dark. Same thing is gonna happen with the ring light. And now I wanna show you how we can take an amazing portrait just using the ring light in the right position. So this is the setup that I'm gonna show you. I just position the camera in front of me, then I'm gonna have the ring light detached from the camera rather than have it in the front, and then I also link the camera to my phone so that you can see also the adjustments that I can make and then afterwards I'm going to show you also with the phone. Now the key concept as I mentioned before is that you don't want to have the ring light in front of yourself we're just going to place it 45 degrees higher than my island. So usually normal people would do like this but what we do instead to make it more professional is that we're going to make it higher and then we're going to position it 45 degrees towards ourselves. Now one of the key concepts regarding lighting is that the closer it is the stronger it's going to be and in order to take some very very cool portraits then we want to have the light as close as possible to ourselves. and as you're going to see even if it enters the frame but it doesn't touch our face then it's fine basically the optimal position 
is that the ring light is extremely close to your face, even if it's in the frame, but without touching your face. So we're just gonna place it, let's say like so. Cool, and then we're gonna check the camera once again, if it's frame is not a problem, as long as it doesn't touch our face, we'll be able to remove it just using an app. Afterwards, and it calls snaps it. So here with my phone, I can control the camera settings. And because now I have the ring light extremely close, so it's extremely bright, then you want to uh, move the shutter speed or the aperture depending on the situation so that you expose correctly, basically the face. And in this case, I'm just gonna use probably one on 250th, there you go. Now, depending on the direction of your face, whether it's towards the ring light, whether it's more on the opposite side, you're gonna achieve a more or a less dramatic effect. But now let's do some examples. The first one, I'm just gonna look straight into camera and see how it looks. Now what happens is that when I move my face towards the ring light and then I direct my eyes towards the camera, we're gonna have a face that is gonna lit up a bit more rather than before. Let's try it together. Cool, that's the effect that we're gonna have. And then what happens is that if I do the opposite, actually moving my face away from the ring light, that we're gonna have a more dramatic effect. There you go. Boom, and then the same thing we can do, just moving the ring light a little bit more in the front or a little bit more on the side. So if I move it on the side and then I just move my shoulders towards the camera, so we just have the ring light on one side basically, we're gonna have a very, very dramatic effect that we also can call split toning. There you go, in this plate toning, you have one side that is bright and the other one that is extremely dark, like in the last photo that we just took. Now you can have all the fun that you want, just moving the ring light a little bit more on the left, a little bit more on the right, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Just try to not have it in front of yourself so that your face is not gonna look flat. And the same thing happens also with video. So let's say now I'm holding the ring light just right at the level of my phone. And if I need to make a video, this could be fine, but we can make it better simply by moving the ring light a little bit on the left, then we're just gonna increase the height of the ring light and we're gonna point 45 degrees. Now, as you can see, we've got much more shadows in this area. We got more shadows here. We got more shadows in this area. And this is a little bit more cinematic than usual. Obviously, you can change the brightness of the ring light so you can check when it looks good and when it doesn't look good. I always try to have it, let's say, close to the maximum when I'm making videos just using the ring light, but then this is totally up to you depending also on the environment that you're in. As always, don't use the yellow light. This will look a bit weird, but always use uh, the white one. This is a kind of, let's say, simulating the sunlight, which is the highest quality light that we can have. And at the same time, if you just wanna take a portrait using your phone, I'm using just the front camera. Usually it's best to use the back camera if you have someone that can help you. But also with the front, I'm gonna show you that you can take some good stuff. So what we do is that you can go normal photo mode, and then you wanna have it as close as possible, like with did before, for the camera and then you're just gonna hold on your face and then you're gonna drag down the sun until everything comes black there you go and then you just maybe want to hold it actually on your face so you're gonna lock it and you can play around with your hands and then when everything else becomes dark and you're happy with your exposure then you can live it and then take a photo and then if we can see the result is actually pretty pretty good and again, we're gonna be able to edit using Snapseed. So now if you wanna edit, I'm gonna show you very quickly how you can remove the ring light on Snapseed, which is a free app made by Google. We're gonna open the portrait that we just took and then we're gonna rotate it if needed. Let's go, okay. And then there is a tool that is actually called Healing. So with Healing, you'll be able to basically just drag your finger on top of the ring light and then magically this one is gonna disappear because it's gonna read the image and understand exactly that you need to remove it by just placing black and there you go now we have it already eventually we can decrease a bit the texture like the structure because i don't like when there is too much structure in portraits like so and then maybe we're gonna go into tune image we're gonna bring down the brightness just a bit because the ai in the iphone made it a little bit brighter than i want it maybe we can decrease the contrast or increase the contrast up to you i'm just gonna increase it by 
three. Then we're gonna decrease the eyelets just a tiny bit. There you go, and decrease the shadows as well to make everything else even more black than it was before. Then you can change the warmth as well. If you like it a little bit colder or a little bit warmer, that's totally up to you. And this, I'm pretty happy with the result. We're just gonna give it a quick crop to make sure that the portrait and the eyes are actually on uh, the top line of the gray. To respect the rule of third, we're gonna click OK, and this is the result that we got with the phone. And there you have it. Now you know how to take professional photos just using your ring light. But there are also a few other things that you should learn about lighting, because these will actually make a huge difference in your photos, especially when we talk about portraits. And I talk about those in this video right here. I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.